So having taken this radiator off to do some decorating, uh, having put it back on again, it's developed a leak. The first thing to do is try and identify where the leak is. By using paper towels on the joints, you can pretty much see straight away where the leak's coming from. So you've got three potential areas here. You've got the pipe to the valve one, and that seems okay. You've got the main compression nut here which goes onto the valve which is the one that I suspected that was leaking because that's the one I disturbed but then also there's this fitting that goes actually into the radiator and you can see pretty clearly there that there's some rust there and that is where the leak is um, and that is very annoying so what I have to do is shut this system down drain this radiator and see if we can get this fitting inside here which I'll show you once I've got this off uh, to try and put that back on again when it was installed by the plumber he has put some of this PTFE tape on it which I can see in there I imagine that when I've undone this bracket here I've disturbed this inner unit so I'm going to tighten that back in once I've got this done now this is a pressurized system which is not too much of a problem but it does mean that we have to relieve the pressure now normally what I would do on this is turn the valves off so this is the um, outlet valve here this particular one has a drain system but we don't need to do that on a pressurized system once you've got rid of the pressure so the first thing to do is to shut these valves off so that's just a simple case of turning that off um, using either a key or some pliers so I'll come back to that bit at one end of the radiator you'll either have a ordinary open valve which just turns to allow the water in this one is actually a thermostatic valve which allows you to regulate the temperature just to this radiator which is a benefit but the thing to watch here is that if you turn it off to the off position like I have here it's actually got a little symbol which is a frost protect now what that does is allow you to shut the water off at normal temperatures in the house so say it was 10 or 11 degrees this would stop the water flowing into the radiator keeping it cool but if it freezes say in the middle of the night um, and goes down below I think it's around about 7 degrees then this valve will open up automatically on this frost protect to allow water to start going through so if you use this valve to isolate the radiator and take it off although it'll stop the water at normal temperatures if it goes cold it's going to start gushing out again so this little pin here on these valves you just pull that plastic clip out there and that allows you to turn the radiator completely off and it just simply clips back in again like that okay so on to the next bit that's all good but this is still pressurized to here this will still have some pressure in it and this will still be full of water normally to relieve the pressure in the radiator or to bleed it you would undo this little bleed screw now this one isn't particularly conveniently located so if I open that water will start pouring out but I've got no way of collecting it in there so on this particular radiator what I'm going to do is relieve the pressure very gently from this valve on this side and uh, let the water come out of here till this is empty take the radiator off and then I can mend this end but remember first of all to turn this off so that's my next job right there we go So the tools you'll need to do this radiator fix are a couple of spanners, an adjustable, a wrench, uh, you'll need a radiator key, some PTFE tape and a radiator key and finally some pliers. Um, I have all these tools in my uh, plumbing box but of course the two items which disappear through wormholes and space are the air bleed key and the radiator spanner just had to go and buy a new one of these I know I've got one somewhere um, I've looked in my plumbing box but is it there no so I've either left it on the job 
or I've misplaced it but these two tend to disappear through wormholes in space anyway um, number of radiator keys I go through is just unreal but anyway so on with this job so I've got my bucket ready and I've got my towel ready now it's important so that you don't get any strain on this incoming pipe particularly in this instance where I've got it coming through the wall and down through the floor next door if that went that joint oh that would be a nightmare but anyway um, so I'm going to hold this unit here like this and I'm going to start easing off this particular it was leaking from there so that is tight that gurgling on the radiator so what I'm going to do now is open that uh, air valve up there just to make sure that the rest of the water's out so now I'm just going to take this fitting out with this spanner so that just unscrews out like that So that's the fitting out and what I'm going to do is put some PTFE around this bit here and screw that back in and hopefully that will sort the problem out. Right so it's just a case of screwing this fitting back in. I've packed on a load of PTFE and let's hope that this does the job. As you can see the PTFE is on there. few wraps of that on there and now to tighten it all back up again all tightened back up turn the water back on so that's that job done this valve is no longer leaking it's back up to temperature jobs are good hey, <laughs> official inspectors here I mustn't forget to put the little clip back in so that this thermostatic valve has the anti-freeze system on it this is a Worcester Bosch boiler that I've got and as you can see the pressure gauge is well down that's because we've taken the pressure off so I just have to recharge this system by allowing some water back in this particular boiler has got a little water ingress valve here which you can use and that key just locks it off I leave it in so that pressure's coming up a bit now. Right, so we're up to 
one and a half bar and so I'll just have to turn that water back shut the valve and there we are systems all up and running job done leak repaired that saved me what hundred pounds just with a call out so hope you enjoyed that and um, look forward to seeing something different the next one will probably be me getting uh, a new cornet for my birthday okay thanks for watching